subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn how to do my everyday makeup, then just keep on watching. My face really dry. I'm having such a bad eczema flare up right now, and I'm keeping myself sane right now by just doing what I love to do best, my makeup and my hair, which if you check out my previous video, if it's up before this one, I gave myself the wolf cut and got rid of all them dead ends, and now my hair is doing so much better, and she's just loving everything I'm doing to her. So let's just go ahead and get up into this makeup. So first thing we're going in with is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is, we're going to use this to prime our lips. So about time we make it to the stage for our lip gloss or lipstick, whatever I feel like it when I make it there. These lips will be good and moisturized. Nice and in there. Okay, first thing first. Well, we already did the first step, which is getting the lips moisturized. We're going in with some primer. And today I decided to use the Elf Poreless Primer. Well, the putty primer. Look at that. Oop, so we're going to put some of this all over our face. Go ahead and get everything all primed up. So even though I'm going to do my, what is it called? My eyeshadow card. We're going to very simple with the eyeshadow. I just want to make sure that this has time to just work itself in. So we're going to make sure we get this on and get it icing up in there. I wish I bought my drink in here. And then I'm getting primer in my hair. And I also did use a product in my hair. I have to tell y'all about it. I used, went back and used the gel that I thought didn't work on my hair. But, yeah. It works so much better now. And this is just day two hair. And I want my hair to get more fluffier. So I want to use something that's going to get my hair a heavier hold. So we had to use something a little bit heavier. So now we got the primer on. I'm just rubbing it in all over my skin. We're going to go in and do these brows. So I need to brush these up. So I like to brush them up and then brush them over. So me, I don't care if we're going out or not. I like a bold bra. And I'm going in with my Maybelline Tattoo Studio in the shade. This is medium. Oh, this is deep brown. So let's go and get these eyebrows all nice and up to par. I really find that using a pomade or if I'm using the ColourPop brow pencil, I get the best brows. I've been tried the Anastasia uh, pencil, but I still have it too far. The, well, the Anastasia pencil is it's too big. I like something very chisel. I like my brows a certain way, and I like a little small and defined. Well, I'm gonna get it how I want, and I just do my brow, other brow, I'm so big and so ugly. Yeah, she ugly. This one look better. I got some makeup wipes. You gotta wipe this off. And they use some 98 cent makeup wipes from Walmart. And I think you get 
30 wipes for like a dollar from Walmart. It does what I needed. But, um, yeah. I forgot I had <laughs> to do some very serious legal things over the weekend and they finally realized that it was not me. I swear, trying to correct something when you know it's wrong is so much harder. We're gonna go through and just brush this part up and just blend out the front. Why is my game even doing? Okay, I ain't gonna keep playing with it. Now I want to go in and we're going to conceal the brows a little bit. Who do I feel like today? You know what? go in with my Juvia's Place one. Okay, the white one. Oop. I'm gonna take a brush. Oop, not that one. Not what I thought I grabbed. Take a brush and we're gonna clean these up. And then the rest of this, you're just going to bring it down over the lid. Why is my laptop going off? Now. This Juvia's Place one, I'm going back and get the other one that I really wanted, but this is a mini one, and I got it in the shade 11. I really do love it. It's very creamy. Make sure them brows how they're supposed to be. I think this is more of a dewy type of, um, uh, Concealer, which is fine. I'm getting this all in my brow. Why? I do not know. And I'm just making sure that we get this all up in there. I'm gonna make sure you get all the stuff in here. Now we are going to need, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. We need to set it. Just to make the shadows blend a lot more. I don't know why, but we're gonna set it. And we're gonna use the Cody Air Sun. We ain't trying to be flashback mirror, but we do want to set it. So now we're going to take this and I'll take this a little brushy brush. We ain't doing nothing too crazy. And I always make sure if I ain't wash my brushes yet, I'm taking this little pan. It's the eyeshadow switching sponge. 
a dollar twenty-five or a dollar. I don't know which one. I just picked it up from the dollar store. So go get you one instead of paying all these money at Sephora and everywhere else. Something that you can go get a dollar from the dollar store. I'm gonna save us some money. Okay, now that that is set, I want to go in with some brow gel, and this is the clear one from, is this a clear one? I don't know. It might be the clear one, it might be the color one from Colourpop. I really like their products a lot. Just gonna brush these into place. Now I think just got a little bit in my brow. Okay. Just scoot and set. It's nice and fixed. Now we're keeping it real simple with the eyes today, but we are trying out a new palette from Juvia's Place. And I got the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. Haven't tried it before, but these are some very beautiful shades in here. Why is I'm looking at you do? Cool. I don't know. We're not going to play with these lights. I'm about to get some new ones. So, I do, I don't really have a base shade in there. So, I am going to use this palette still, but I am going to go into my Warrior number 2 palette, Tried and True Favorite. And I need a base shade, so I'm going to take EO Did It out of this palette, and we're going to use this as my base shade on my lid. And then brush it off. Just make sure this dust is everywhere. I could have used this instead of the powder. Just gonna get this all over the bottom. So we got that on. Now I want to go into the Nubian 3 Coral. And we're going to work with some pinks and browns. So we're going to take this shade right here. And just going to tap it on. Oh, she's shining. And she is a very beautiful shade. Or maybe this is first, it's not. But yeah, oh yeah, I'm just going to go directly in and just start painting this on again. And do not take that the wrong way. Then I'll go in with the brush and just blend it out.
I don't know why I got the sun sticking in my head. This one, put this one in there. Put some more of this on the brush. I want to go in with a different brush. I want to go in with this brown shade right here, just on the edges, just a little bit. We ain't doing nothing too fancy. Now I want to go in with just a little bit more color in the front. Because I already got enough color. So I just want something that's going to make the inside corners of my eyes pop. This laptop is being very disrespectful today. Just disrespectful. I'm just going to take a little bit smaller of a brush. Alright, I'm going to get one. This is it. And go in with this little pink shape. Make sure you can see it. It's like a salmon orange color. Like my lighting is not doing it today. Right here. Just want just a little. I need a fancy brush. Oh yeah. Ah! Let your girl put this on a little dense. Uh. Oh, it's just a very faint color. That's all it is. I am going to go in my crease with this right here with this coal shade and just blend these two in together. Just to open up my eye just a little bit more in the middle. Okay, got the eyes looking very neutral and simple.
I don't know what's going on with the light today. Now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution um, pen. Really like this, and it's very pigmented to do. Going to draw on this color. Did I put some mascara? She's up in there. Now we want to go in and just curl up our eyelashes before we put some mascara on. Before we do that, Ooh, that thing. I want to get my eyeliner pencil, which is this one, and I want to try and just go underneath of my top lid and just darken it. Can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? Okay. We're gonna go in with the sky high and just put the mascara on. Ooh, I have some long eyelashes. Now I'm going to go back in with this and curl these up one more time. Excuse me. Can you see my eyelashes? Because they're looking long. 
Steve now comes from North Carolina. I bet you do like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my pencil on the bottom and go ahead and do this before I start putting my foundation. Okay, got that on, but I am going to need to sharpen it still. Yes, my dear, you're it. That she loves. I love a cold liner. And what and why has been my favorite? If y'all know any other brands, that y'all like a lot more, let me know down below and I'm looking to give them a try because this one's got me in a chokey hole. I don't know what my pencil sharpen is right now, but we're gonna move on. So now we're gonna go in with foundation. Now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. halo glow and then I also like to use this. Ugh. My Fit Me Matte and Pork. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put these dots on my face. Yo, I'm looking so well right now. I'm not losing my mind. No. Okay. So now I'm gonna take some of my matte, uh, matte and poreless fit me from Maybelline in the shade uh 338 spicy brown. Let me go pick up some more. She's running out. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I don't know why it is so busy today. And just tap this all over. I'm gonna start blending it in you. This camera is making me look yellow. I mean, not the camera, it's the lighting. Now I'm gonna take a brush, a brushy brush. Where's the foundation brush I like to use? Now I'm gonna take this one. I don't know what it's going with. Now, 
Oh, it's so hard. You know what? We're gonna go in with some Godzilla. And we're gonna use some of the pretty vulgar. So in the fancy, I got three And with Cody Volga, we got 63, the middle ground. Oops. Just gonna put that in the middle right there. I need to put that mayonnaise right there. Okay. Now while we let that sit for a minute, put it right there. I'm gonna go in and do my eyelashes and we're gonna get these eyelashes prepped and ready to go. From Maybelline also. You know what? I'm wait on it. Wait on it. So ooh. Still cold. I'm gonna take my spongy sponge and we're gonna start filling that out. On the forehead. Then come down the nose. Okay. So these are set along the nose. Okay, now we're going to go in and blend out the concealer. We're going to make sure we're keeping this all in one spot. I'm just going up and down and in the same position.
Okay. That's all. Now I want to go in. Well, first I need to wipe this off the back of my hand. Okay. So, that's done. Now I'm going to go in with some of my Fenty. I'm going to take one of my microfiber sponges. I think this is from Real Technique. And I like the way this applies. Powder. This gets right up in where I need it to. And I'm also pressing this powder into my face. And we're going to go down here. Okay, we got this on. That thing to apply. That way. Now I need to go in and hurry up and apply my bronzer. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to contour with cream. So for now, we're going to use my handy dandy bronzer. And this one is. The Hula Caramel from Benefit Cosmetics. I love it. So we're going to go in with this. We're going to start at the forehead. This one. And I like to do this while I got the contour powder on. So I don't contour the baking powder or whatever you want to call it on. So I don't do too much. Go over here in my hairline. Okay. Now we gotta go in and do around my nose. Let's get the nose in there. I don't know what was on here. We're gonna take little caramel and we're gonna go up here by the nose into the brow make sure you take it into the brow and then bring it down How do you know it's working? Yeah. Also, I need to go back in with my making a mess. This palette, and I'm going to. Where is my phone? Not this palette. This is not what I should use. Okay. We're going to go back in with the Nubian color. We're going to add 
this pink first. Go in with the pink. And I'll go right under there. Make sure you blend it all the way back. Then we're going to go in with the brown and go halfway with it. Now that that's on, now I can go in with my mascara and we're going to use the Bossy Mascara. And go up under here and blend these together. Blend our eyelashes and what these things called? Eyelashes together. Now that this is all on, I can go in and take off the bronzer. I mean, shoot, I got bronzer on. We're gonna take off the um baking powder. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and we're just going to start going at it. Okay, we're looking very matte right now. That's, that's fine. We can go in. We're going to fix it with the Morphe Setting Spray. We're going to wet this down before we go in with the next thing. Okay. Heat. And that's just going to help blend everything in together. So we're going to let this sit here. And while this is sitting here, we'll go in with any more powders on the face. We're going to go in and do the lips. So for the lips, we need a Kylie True Brown K. Okay. I need my pencil sharper enough. I don't know why it decided it want to run away when I actually decide I want to use it. That on my brush I was looking for earlier. Oh, here you go. So I got my plus of sharpener. Oh, don't need it. So we're gonna take makeup wipe and just wipe off plastic. Go anywhere. And no, I do not overline my lips. My lips are already too big. And now I'm going to rub my lips together just to blend this out a little bit. And a second layer.
I really do love a lip liner. Creamy. So how the lips looking? Looking good, you say? So, I want to use the Milky Gloss today. One of my favorite glosses. And then I'm going to take this Queen, Queen, in the shit, Queen, Queen, I don't know, just the name of it, in the shade Wifey. That's what we're going to look. But since my face is dried down a little bit, we're going to go in with a little bundle. We're going to use this one. We're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade 55. And it's called Berry. So I'm going to take this decent size brush. I don't know what it is, but I love pink for blush. And I'm just going to tap it on. I like how you get a little C effect out of it. I don't know. I like just to bring this blush up high, high, high to the gods. You can bring it out a little bit more on top of the cheek, which I don't mind either. But we're going to get that kiss on the face. So how does it look? You might think it's a little too much. If it's too much for you, you can take your beauty blender that you use it or sponge, whatever you want to call it, that you use to put your foundation on and just go over like this, over the edges. And just go and blend it out just a little bit. Just showing you how to put it on, even though I wouldn't have blended it out. Okay, that's good. Now to bring this all together, we're gonna go in like this. So we're gonna take some of the queef, queen, whitey, whatever you want to call it. Just in the middle. It's gonna get a little pinky in the middle. We could take it nudie nudie and matte. But we wanna gloss it a little because I like a glossy what is that? Okay, a little hair. We're gonna take this is Milky Gloss in the shade Cherry Skim. She pink too. I'm just going to put this in the middle. I like a little piece of cheek look. Now we're done, we can take this out so you can see how cute my hair is. I should have made a mess in my hair. I'm gonna take these down. And this is only day two. So what do you think of my everyday look? Now, if I ain't feeling good, you might just call it a day with some lip gloss or some chapstick. I'm still in up to it. But this is my everyday look. What do you think? She kept it very natural. And I want my eyes to pop, 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 pop. And it's really kind of what color contacts I got on. So, if I got on a different color pair of contacts. Got to keep it, switch it up, make it look a little bit different. Just to get, make the eyes pop. Because we want the eyes to stand out. So with my chocolate, chocolate eyes, I love a pink. I want to put my hair like this. But that's doing too much. I don't want to mess up this so far. But if you like this video on my everyday makeup, then just... Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and keep on coming back for more videos. Bye, guys.